Hello everyone. Can you hear me and can you see me? That is the question. Put on a little creepy music in the background. How's everyone doing? Oh my gosh, the camera, it has tilted down. Let's just tilt her back up, shall we? Pacha. That's a little bit better. Sometimes it sneaks down on the new tripod. Cool. So um, I'm here with you all today to play Final Girl Season 2, which has finally arrived. I'm very, very excited. So I'm going to be playing the, um, crap, what's it called? Panic at Station, I think it's 2981, if I've gotten all of the numbers right. And if I haven't gotten the numbers right, I don't think anybody's surprised by that because I did initially start the stream with the wrong title, as per usual. And not only that, I also might let my computer die yeah. as it happens. Thank you for the subscription optional quest or the gift subscription. Amazing. Oh, Risto underscore A. Thank you for the gift subscription. Appreciate you. So yeah, this is my first time playing any of the season two sets. Have not played any of them yet. Um, and from the last stream, this is the one that people wanted to see the most. And so this is the one that we're gonna do. I haven't played it, but I have learned it. I am in fact a little bit nervous because I just don't know. It looks, it looks difficult. Let's just say that. It looks a little bit difficult, but that's fine. So I'm just gonna jump down to the board. Good evening, get this game 23. And hello, Joe, I didn't even say hi to you. How freaking rude of me. Um, okay, so this is Final Girl season two. I do have the play mat. I got everything. I went literally all in. Hi, that was weird. I was in the stream but had to leave and come out to see video. Oh well, here now. Hope everyone is having a good day. Weird. It's probably Joe. Here, let me jump back to here. Let me just tell you what happened. I forgot to plug in my laptop. Whoops. And I started the stream and then by the time that I got downstairs my laptop had died as it does. And so I think that probably has maybe a little something to do with the issues. You know, we always we always got some tech issues here. That's just how, that's just life, my friends. Okay, so anyways, back down to the board. So there's a few different things with this set. Hello, Tomp Dog. Hey, Jamie, first ever stream, and I'm so happy to be here. I am so happy that you are here. Thanks for joining. Hee <laughs> hee, no harm, no foul. Yeah, Joe, you know, you're used to it by now. I feel, I feel that. So yes, this is the organism versus either Kate or Yuki. So these are our two character choices that we have today. And um, so basically in this set, our mission is to kill the bad guy, but we're gonna do it in a little bit of a different way. Okay, hello Marina, hello from BC Ferry and Bowen Island to Vancouver, turning in for this 20 min ferry ride. Ooh, 20 min ferry ride, perfect. I hope that I don't die within 20 minutes, but you know, we're, it might happen, it might happen. So basically in this set, we have three people, three victims on the board that are this red, oh, I pointed to black, red, black, and gray. Each of these victims may or may not be infected with this organism thing. So they could be infected with any of these three Disgusto Barfo looking things. You yuck. So basically what I am trying to do is, number one, I'm trying to rescue victims. I do that through this helicopter. So there's a little helicopter pad. I have to get victims to the helicopter. 
They then go over to this card, the helicopter card. So let's see if that will focus. So I drop them off here and then they need to move all the way up to the Arctic airport in order to actually escape. And there can be three in the helicopter at one time. So that's definitely a different mechanic um, in terms of saving victims. So that's one thing that's different. The three special victims that are out on the board are potentially, like I said, infected. And so basically I need to test them. This is almost, it's giving me like nemesis vibes, alien vibes, all that good stuff. So basically how I test them is each location and you can't see. So let's see if I do this. So each location up at the top has a test kit. So I can test them one of two ways. I can either collect one of those test kits and I get one automatically um, if I search a location. So each one of those locations that I search, I gain a test kit. So then at any point I can test one of the victims to see if they have been infected. And actually I'll just show you what that looks like. So we have these test result cards and two of those test results are marked safe and one is marked assimilated. If I pull the safe, they're just a regular victim. They go about their merry way, whatever. Or if I pull the assimilated, it means they're actually a mutated organism. And then I bring out one of these bad boys onto the board. And I do that by flipping up one of these cards. So each one of these is correlated to one of these and they all have different strengths. So when they populate onto the board, that's when I know like how much health they have, all that good stuff. And I have to do that for each of these three special victims, basically. Okay, so let me just double check to make sure I have the win conditions correct. Which one is it on? Um, yeah, to win, you must test the exposed victim. So that's through the test kits, or I can also test them in the lab. And the lab is right here. So I don't need a test kit to test them in the lab. I can just do that for free. So I need to test the exposed victims to find out which ones have been assimilated and destroy all mutated organisms. That's the goal. Haven't been able to watch a stream in a bit. Have you been liking season two? This is my first time playing it, like literally my first time. I haven't practiced this at all. Oopsie oopsies. Um, so I guess we'll see. <laughs> Sounds like an absolute blast. Love that they have done same horror but different villains. I was afraid season two would feel redundant. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't think, I feel like from what I've looked at through the sets, it feels different enough. Hi James, how's it going? Um, hiya, Coolian. This one sounds so cool. Yes, and you wanna know what is really super cool? There's dogs in this one, which I'm really excited about. So. One of the um, items that came up is a dog. So I don't actually know what the dog does, but I think we all know no matter what, I want it. Um, what else is different? So the helicopter that I mentioned, it moves through this card. So I need to be able to get this card into my hand in order to move it. Um, what else? I think. That's, oh, I start with a two-way radio and I can use that four times and it says, used to move a victim one space at the cost of one time may not be used on the same victim more than once in a single turn. Um, I will also mention the special exposed, I think they're called exposed, so the three special meeples. There's a few rules with them. They can't be replaced by the other special victims. Um, they can't be targeted or killed by the organisms, mutated organisms, um, but they can be killed through terror cards or events. If that happens, I have to test them basically to make sure that they're not assimilated, whatever it might be. 
Sunday Laughs, hello. My brother and I just got done playing Geppetto Carnival of Blood for the first time today. We're trying to play through each final girl of season one before we play season two. That is a good idea, very good idea. Okay, so we have a few decisions, I guess, to be made. The first is which final girl do I want to be? So here they are, we have Yuki and Kate. So Kate has four hearts to start, but her special ability is once her card flips, her maximum health goes up to seven, she immediately recovers all of her hearts, and while at full health, you roll one extra die for horror rolls. Each additional victim saved receives two hearts. Um, that's pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Then we have Yuki, and Yuki only needs to save four victims to flip her card. She has six health, and her special thing says, once per turn, you may play a copy of the guard card as though it was in your hand. For each additional victim saved, you receive one, uh, you can move horror down one. Ooh, those are both really good. Uh, so is this villain inspired by the thing? I believe that it is, but if I'm being totally honest, I have never seen the thing. And I probably should. Since I love horror movies, I can't believe I haven't seen it. How was the match? Did you survive? Oh, did the puppets win? Yeah, I'm also interested to know if the puppets win. Those puppets, man, they are bad. Um, okay, so does anybody have a preference between Kate or Yuki? I am fine with either. The first person to say something gets the choice. I'm gonna give you my votes, Yuki. Yuki it is, and you know what? Oh, too late, Tomp Dog. Next time. So the thing with Yuki, um, now I don't have all of the, I do have all of the miniatures. I don't use the miniatures when I play on stream because it's too difficult to see them kind of on the board. Um, Yuki has a dog. So you know that she's she's pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, I did want to show you as well. Here's one of the miniatures for the organism. Pretty gross looking. Yeah. Anywho, um, I think that's pretty much everything. I think we can get started. Oh, we have to choose. I did get all the upgraded um, bits and bobs, so. This is, I don't want to look at it, obviously, but that's what it looks like. Okay, so I will, do they, where did they go? I'm just going to grab, I'll take one, and then I have to give myself some hearts. So I need five, four, five. Good luck. Lost this first time I played. You know what? I believe you. I freaking believe you. And I am almost guaranteed to also lose this my first play, so you won't be alone. I'll be right there with you. Um, okay, so I need to that. Up here is where I need to make sure I can find. Um, these tokens. So I don't think that there's, oh, I know, okay. I was gonna say, there's no tokens that match the monsters, but there are tokens that match the people, so we're good. Um, okay, I think I think that's everything. The only last thing I did wanna mention, if you can see, there's, this one is broken up into outdoor spaces, indoor spaces, and hallways. Ah, which reminds me, there's something to do with frostbite. If you end your turn, outside, I believe you get frostbite, but let's, frostbite icon means you, oh, so it must be in the terror deck. Um, so there's frostbite tokens, obviously, because we're in the Arctic. Um, each victim, you and each victim and each enemy in an outdoor space gain a frostbite token, or you lose one health if you already have one. 
During each up upkeep phase, discard all frostbite tokens for people who are inside. Yikes. All right. So basically guaranteed to make some mistakes since this is literally my first time playing this set and there are some different rules. Um, I don't think these guys get these tokens. They must. They freaking must. Oh yes. Okay. They go on. I put them on later. So I'm just going to need to set those aside. Okay. Let's go. I got my handy dandy spoon tray. Love to see it. And I've got my starting hand of cards. So let's jump down here. <sighs> okay, so I think, I think, I think, I think, I think I don't know already what to do. Um, I think actually the first thing I need to do is pull an event card since I always forget. Who goes there? Who are you and where did you come from? Several scientists arrive from another station. Place one new victim in each outdoor space other than the door. All right, that's okay. Each outdoor space other than the door. Cool. All right, there is another little token here that I think goes with this, Skeetozer. I don't really know what it does, but we'll figure that out if we get that card. So what do I wanna do? Dice tray is kind of in the way. This mat is uh, different than the season one. Like I'm used to my tarot cards being up here and everything being kind of shifted and this is smaller, so bear with me as I kind of get my bearings around this board. Um, okay, let's think here. I am next to the tool shed and <laughs> I wanna go in the tool shed because there's a dog, but, so another reason why I wanna go into the tool shed or into any of these in search, I don't have a search card right now, but it's because I can get one of those test kits and I'm really close um, to one of the exposed people. So let's, I'm just wondering, you know what I'm gonna do to start? I'm gonna focus <laughs> because this set actually starts at five horror, which is really close to six. Just FYI, in case you forgot how numbers worked. So let's, focus. All right. So I didn't get any stars, but I can discard two cards. So I will discard my short rest and my weak attack to flip this to a star, which is going to allow me to move this up one and my time's going to go down one. Okay. So that's focus. And Just as long as I have two search, that's what I want. So I am gonna try and focus again. I hate when I'm at a polar research station and my colleagues get turned into twisted mockeries of life by a malevolent entity. It makes it so hard to put together a gaming group. You know what, James? I completely agree with you on that. It's kind of like ridiculous. Oh no, no. I really don't want to discard any of my cards because they're both my walk cards. So I'm just going to take the hit with the two time. Oh no. That's okay. Let's do a walkie and it's going to put me down. So long as I get at least one star, I'll still have enough to buy a search card. All right, perfect. So I got one star. Sometimes I like to lift it up just to prove it to you. So I can move one space. So I'm gonna move in here. I'm not gonna take the victim with me because there's no point. I'll pick him up on my way home, you know? All right, I am going to end my turn there and I'm gonna go shopping, which you know I freaking love to do. So I only have two. And I am going to be buying 
what did I say? A search card for two. Hello, Vandro. How's it going? Everyone in my game group is twisted mockery of life. So it's a reflection of real life then. You'll love to see it. Now, here's something. Right now, and let's zoom back out. Right now, there are no bad guys on the board. So this is definitely a way that this is different because there's no, like there is still a killer phase because I have to do the terror, but there's no things to attack me. Unless I'm missing something. B-Fan, are you still here? Am I missing something? I don't think so. I don't freaking think so. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna rip around here. Not dying, I love it. Okay, Um, so I do need to do terror. I wonder if that means the terror cards are extra bad. I think that is a travesty really. Hey all, look at that pretty play mat. I know, I love it. I am gonna say, usually I ask people what set they wanna see next, but I am extremely excited for the Big Bad Wolf. So that's what, I think that's what I'm gonna play next. And I have a feeling that's what the mat is kind of related to. Okay, so, no killer, whatever. Oh, good Lord. All right, here's our event card. The generator is out. Rut row. Do not remove any frostbite tokens during the next upkeep phase. Well, joke's on you. I didn't, I didn't have any. Then I have to pull two event cards. Good lord. Then um, targeting, but it's not going to happen. And one frostbite. I wonder, oh, I assume this bottom one means I could take a frostbite to move the helicopter, but there's nobody in the helicopter, so... Don't wanna do that. So we're gonna pull two. Hello, Geoff. How's it going? Oh yeah, you changed your name. <laughs> um, oh my God, yes, Big Bad Wolf looks like it's going to be fun. And I like weirdly love werewolves. So yeah, I'm into it. So the first event card that I pulled is called Heavy Storm. Can't see a guard darn thing. A God darn thing. When moving outside, all of your moves are panicked. Ooh, that reminds me. One other thing about these guys is that they always panic no matter what. So every turn they panic, so I'm gonna have to remember to do that. When moving outside, all of your moves are panicked. You may spend one time to re-roll as many times as you wish and can afford. Oh, <gasps> that means I'm literally like ripping around in a snowstorm being like, where do I go? What do I do? Send help. Okay, the second one I pulled looks like a doozy. Don't worry, we're here to help. You shouldn't have come. If the helicopter has any victims on board, it doesn't. Discard this and draw a new event. Otherwise, place the helicopter on the landing pad. Place three new victims in the space with the helicopter, then panic them first as a group, and then once individually if any are in an indoor space move them to that space. What? If any are adjacent to an indoor space. Okay, that's interesting. So I have to bring in, geez, there's a lot of freaking victims in here. Blee. MJS, I assume it's MJ Swinger, not J, not MJS Winger. Hey, hey, excited to be able to join. Excited to have you here. All right, so these three are gonna go here. Okay. And then we are, they're panicking. So they're panicking first as a group. They got a six. Why do I always roll sixes? <laughs> oh, and I always forget. Are they panicking to the number they're coming from or the number they're going to? I always forget that. Then I have to panic them each individually. So I have to do it three times. So we'll do this one. I got a one. Hmm. So he's going back here. Another one. Oh. I like that. And a four, a fewer. So I think that goes here. Um, don't you have to take frostbite when that symbol appears? Ah, oh, yes, thank you. That is exactly right. That is exactly right. I do, I do, I do, I do. And then I can move 
the helicopter, I assume. Thank you, and if anybody uh, notices me doing anything wrong like that, let me know, because like I said, this is the first time I've played this set, and there's a lot of Rulios. Um, I feel like this game needs like reminder tokens or a way to remember important ever going effects. Yeah, I'm always afraid I'm going to forget something when there's events or minor powers or dark 100%. Hey, hey Jamie, what game have you played that has had the largest game board? Oh, golly. I'm gonna have to think about that. I feel like Endless Winter takes up a, but it's not really the board, it's just like overall. Okay. So thank you for that reminder that, that I had to take Frostbite. So I did take it. If I go inside, I lose it. If I gain another one, I lose a health. Good? Good. Okay. All right. None of them ended adjacent to an indoor space? Yep, this one did. So they go inside. Um, but none of the other ones did. Cool, 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 cool. All right. So now the special exposed people are also going to panic. So we'll do this one first. A six, why can't I do that when, <laughs> you know, when I want to? Okay, so they're not going anywhere. This one, five. Um, oh wait. Yeah, I think that's right. And then this one, a six. I think that means they're gonna go in here. I think. Somebody rule check me on that. When I panic, I always forget this. Do I use the number that they're going to or the number that they're coming from? I forget that every time I play. Okay, I think I did everything. I think, I think, I think. I think, I think, I think. So, it's my turn and I only have the number attached to your current space, okay. So that means, weirdly enough, I did not do that right. And I even thought, I was like, mm, I didn't do that right. So this one I think goes here. Okay, so now we're good. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Sunday lay layoffs. All right, so I have two cards. Let's uh, jump back down here. And I am going to start off with a search action because I sure would like to get that doggo Doggo Parko. Love watching while making dinner. Very engaging. Perfect. I'm happy to hear that. All right, let's get that dog. Can I pet that dog? And get that test kit. Please. Oh, you turd. <laughs> that sucks. I only have one card, so I can't. I can't do anything about it. Okay. You know what, though? It's fine. It's fine, we got some time. Nobody's attacking me yet. I think we're good. So, um, uh, my options are, I can either take the top item card at your space, but horror would go up by two and time down by two, or I put time down two and horror only down one. And I honestly think that's what I'm gonna do because um, it's just, I don't wanna lose my dice. I don't want to. Okay, that's fine. Um, and I'm actually not going to use my walk card. I'm just gonna end my turn. And that is because I would like to buy some new cards. I'd like to buy a lifeline, please. Sheesh, okay. So let's do that. I have four, so I am gonna get another search card for two. Hmm. And I actually think I might get a close call and the fly faster card. So as mentioned, the fly faster card is how the helicopter moves and my plan is to get some peeps 
to the helicopter. There's actually already two there, but I would like to get three there before I zip them away. Um, and so with my last two, I'll buy that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. All right. So back to these peeps. I need to pull a terror card. Just a heads up, the finale cards are horrible. Amazing. I love that. Love that journey for me. Um, the game mechanic that I always forget is that you can sell unused cards for time. Yep. Yeah, it's a valid tactic and I always forget to use it. Great for when you want to grab that expensive card. 100%. Yes. Um, that is a great, great, great thing to do. All right, let's pull a terror card. Let's get spooky. This is what I, this is what it look like if it'll focus. Oops, as soon as it focused, I moved it. My bad. Tell me where it is. If there are no victims in play, lol, there's so many victims, discard this card. Um, otherwise, for each victim in your space, you may look through one item deck. Place any item face up on the deck and shuffle the others face down underneath. So I don't have any victims, so I can't do that. Horror, oh shoot, increases by one. Then I gain a frostbite, but because I have, I think it's, is it as soon as I get two or if I already have two? Boop. Um, lose one health if they already have frostbite. Well, there goes a heart. Ba -ba -bum. That sucks. Okay, so that's it. It says I can move the helicopter. I wonder if it's worth it. I think I can move it if there's only two of them. Because technically these guys are in the helicopter, right? I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So correct me if I'm wrong. Hello, Chaticus. I'm pretty sure because there were two victims at the helicopter, that means they're technically in the helicopter. I don't think I need to be with them. And so if that allows me to move the helicopter, I will move them. I guess technically I moved the helicopter token. Yes, it doesn't have to be full. Okay, good, because I only have to technically save four in order to flip Yuki. So let's do that, shall we? We shall. Okay, um, then these clowns are gonna panic because they can't keep it together because they're probably mutants. Gonna go back there. The red one is going to go here. And the gray one is going to go here. Cool beans. Cool, 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 cool. I think you have to be in the space though. Oh, well that's a bummer. Have to be in the space in order to get them in the helicopter. I mean, that makes sense, I think. I think that makes sense. Um, kind of like how you would regularly save a victim. Okay, that's fine. I'm on my way there anyway. Don't even worry about it. Bye peeps, running to grab dinner. Good luck and have fun. Hope you make it. I hope I make it too. Enjoy your dinner. Okay, it's my turn. My, my, my turn. Let's jump down. So I want to search again. I did grab a search card, but first things first, I think let's try and focus people. Let's Freaking focus. Yuki, please get us, oh my good golly. Okay, so that's fine. We're just going to discard two cards to turn this into a star. Boom, roasted. All right, so that means I get the, what was I doing? Oh, I wasn't searching. Um, I was focusing. So I can put that down and then I lose one time. All right, I think I should probably search. So that's what we're gonna do. Give me, a, oh God, don't worry peeps. I got a close call. 
If this is how the rolls are going tonight, though, mm, not good. Okay. So I will turn that into a star by getting rid of my other focus and a walk. Jeez Louise. And that is going to, let's jump up here. But I am at the tool shed and that's where the poppy is. So obviously <laughs> I'm gonna take you home with me. And then I get this, <clears throat> my arms aren't long enough. Then I get this test kit. So this is what the test kits look like, which um, are one of the things that you need in order to check to see if the um, people have been exposed to the mutants. You know how it is. Okay, okay, okay. And my time goes down by one. So let's see what the dog does. His name is Char. He's an Alaskan Malamute. So cute. When an enemy enters your space, deal one damage to it. The next time you take damage, ignore it and discard this card instead. This ally is not considered in your backpack, but the card may be kept there. Char, my protecta. Here, just in case you'd like, you might like to see him. He's pretty, pretty cute. Test kit, okay. We got it, we got him. Um, makes sense, similar to how you have to be in the space to save a victim. Yeah, really sucks though. Like, can't, um, can't these dumb victims just get in the helicopter? Like, seriously, honestly, yes, I agree. These victims wander into killer spaces. They're not the sharpest knives in the drawer. Facts. Um, it is really done so well. Even those test kits are right out of the movie The Thing, in case anyone didn't know which movie this was emulating. Yes, I haven't seen it, but I believe you. Um, I'm actually... I'm gonna hang on to the last two cards that I have because I would like to go shopping with my four thingamabops. So I've got four, there's like dog hair all over this and it's not from Char, tell you that much. So we are going to take a sprint card for two, which means I have two more. Hmm. I don't, I guess I could take another sprint card. I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to be proactive and take another sprint. Everybody already knows I'm super duper fast. So I probably don't even need the sprint card because I run like the wind. We already know this. Okay. So that's my turn. My, my, my turn. Okay. So now back over to, uh, the bad guys, but there are none yet. I got to get testing. I gotta get testing these people. But they're so far away. I hope that they panic right next to me. I'd love that. Okay, let's do a terror. Um, I refuse to understand that item card like the dogs take damage or die to protect you. Nope, they just run away and live happily ever after from the evil. They don't get hurt. That's, I also believe that. Someone is destroying the tests. Better not. Discard the test kit from the search that is the closest to you. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. They're literally the exact same. Blech. Let's just get rid of that one. Okay, that's fine. Whatever, Cheddar. One normal victim within two spaces of the associated um, space is killed. Okay, well, it might help if I knew where I took that from. I think I took it from here within two spaces. So this one is going to be killed. You did. Blood loss goes up. And that is not actually going to do anything or trigger anything until we reveal the monsters. Okay. And then there's a move towards the victims, but there's nobody out. All right. We're going to have some panic at the disco here. So... This one's gonna go first. 
so they don't move. This one is going to go back in here. Jeez, snip, snap, snip, snap. This one is not gonna go anywhere. So I guess they didn't feel like being very active today. Cool, everybody cool? Yeah, I think I did it. Okay, back to me, back to moi. Yeah. But yeah, thanks for the sub, Tim. It's good to see you, how's it going? We have to get back on your show, let me tell you, now that we're settled into our new hosts. Um, all right, so basically, if anybody's curious about what I'm about to do, all I have are sprint, sprint, walk, fly faster. So I'm, I'm running like the wind, try and stop me. I am going to try to get to the helicopter to get some peeps out. So let's do a sprint. Boop. I'm well, loving Final Girl. My eldest plays almost daily now. Ugh, it's so, so good. Love it, love it, love it. Oh my God, why do I keep doing that? Literally, worst. And I have no close calls. I hate it. Okay, well, either way I'm losing a life. <laughs> Oops, so that sucks. Um, but I am going to just move one space, lose a life, lose two time. <sighs> if I do that, I have to stop my turn, which is fine, but we're ripping through those tarot cards and I haven't made much. So you know what? No, I'm not. I'm just gonna lose a heart and lose two time. Time to switch the dice out. You know what? You're actually 100% right because I've been using the same two. Let's use the top two. Let's use the top two. And we will try that again. Let's try to sprint again. Top two. Familiar feeling, LOL. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I could get rid of my cards to move two spaces. It just kind of sucks. So I'll do it. I'm gonna get rid of my only two cards to move two spaces. Come with me. And then I'm out of cards. Gosh darn, that is kind of brutal. And by kind of brutal, I mean that was very brutal. <gasps> Don't forget about your two-way radio. Used to move a victim one space at the cost of one time. May not be used on the same victim more than once in a single turn. Hmm. I mean, next turn, I'm gonna be taking these with me in here, two of them with me in here to get them out, so I don't know if I need to use that quite yet. Maybe I do, maybe I'm being a dum-dum, but that's okay. Sometimes I am a dum-dum. All right, so I have three time, I get these back. Good golly. Do you know what's wild? Okay, good, I am getting a walk. Phew, I was like, I'm not getting any movement. Um, I have three. Do you know what I should definitely probably get? Is something like a close call. But I'm wondering about that distraction card. I think I'm gonna get the distraction because I could potentially, if by some miracle, I roll two stars. <sighs> Anyways. Do, 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 do. Hope I don't die. Hope I don't die. All right, we're retiring the top two dice. Next time we'll go with the middle two. Okie dokie. So back to them. Pull a terror, a, a terror, not a tarot. Um, Van Ryder now sells a dice prison on the web store exactly for this. I probably need to get that. This has been brutal. I got the same card. Someone is destroying the tests. This is the same one that I got last time. Jeez, change the record. Discard the test kit from, oh crap. That means I'm gonna have to take these clowns to the freaking lab. Oh my god, gourd. One normal victim within two spaces of the associated space is killed. You dead. Um, you dead. You basic. 
Victims get frostbite. Victims get frostbite. Victims get frostbite. Which victims? Which victims? <laughs> ah! Don't forget about the two-way radio. Victims get frostbite. Enemies also get frostbite. Why are they getting frostbite? Did I miss something? I didn't see a symbol. Tell me what I'm missing, please. Uh, dinner time here, best of luck. Thank you, Geoff, enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your dinner. All right, I'm going to panic these people. Let's roll the lower dice. So he's not going, he's stuck in that supply closet, eh? He's not going anywhere. Three again. And he's not going anywhere. Oh, answering a question in chat. Okay, I was like, oh crap. <laughs> Did I miss something? Did I miss something? All right, so back to me. Hopefully I can actually do something. Guess we'll see. Well, wheel. I am going to walk. I'm just going to take a leisurely stroll to the helicopter. Oh, we're using the middle dice this time. Thank God I got a star. One star. I'll take it. Safe. Okay, one star. So I will move. Whoops. Jeez Louise, I just rocketed those victims into another dimension. All right. So just me and these victims here. No, it ain't no thing. Um, let's pop out here because I am zipping them. They're in the helicopter. You guys just be in the helicopter, okay? I assume that's correct. Bye all, gotta run to get these kids some food. Yes, you best feed them kids. Bye bye, Joe. Nothing wrong with walking, leisurely stroll in a freaking blizzard. Um, okay. Only if the frostbite symbol appears on the terror card. Ooh. So that does mean though, B fan, that when I pulled this terror card with the frostbite, I should have given frostbite to all of these victims that were outside, I assume. That is what I am making the assumption, but we have gone too far and I'm not changing it now. Heck no. Okay, what did I just do? I walked, I sent them off on their own little journey. Fare thee well. So now I think we'll jump back down. I think we'll do a distraction and we will try and decrease our horror. Big money, no whammies. Oh, perfect, I got one star and I could make it two stars and you know what? I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. I'll get rid of my weak attack and my focus to turn that into two stars. Oh my stars. And we're gonna put that at one, two, pa-chow, chow And we're gonna give ourselves two time, cha chow <laughs> That's pretty chill. I enjoy that thoroughly. Um, I need to get myself over that way, I think. Well, you know what? I don't have any, <laughs> I don't have any movement cards. So I actually think I might do just a short rest. And I'm gonna keep, yeah, I'm gonna do a short rest. See, I just needed to, the middle dice. It was the middle dice all along. Okay, so that is going to get me recover, to recover one heart, I lose one time. Now I could, I have six times, so I feel like sometimes in life you just gotta YOLO it and I'm, I'm gonna YOLO it and try and focus. Whoa, whoop, it's a star. I'll take it. So one here and then down one time. So those are all of my cards. Oh my gosh, the dog keeps getting stuck. He's trying to run away. Can we blame him? We cannot. 
Okay, so I have five time to spend. We definitely want this fly faster. That's one. We will take, ooh, should I take two sprints? I'm gonna take two sprints. So I'm gonna spend two, four, five. Two sprints and a fly faster and I get my walkie back. Walkie, walkie, walkie. All right. That was a much more successful turn than previous turns have been. Uh, I think a different gameplay I watched gave them frostbite that they were outside, not just when the symbol showed up. Either it was an event or they were just really wrong. So just um, for clarity, Sunday laughs. This is what it says about frostbite. The frostbite icon means you give each victim and each enemy in an outdoor space frostbite token, or they lose one health if they already have a frostbite token. During each upkeep phase, discard all frostbite tokens for anyone indoors. So I would say they did it wrong. It says only when you see the symbol. They did it wrong. I did it wrong. We're all doing it wrong. That's the beauty of this game. Always be playing it wrong. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, okay, so it's their turn. So we're pulling a terror. I hate this. I hate when this happens. So it says, we'll all be dead by morning. This is something that we all know is probably true. Choose one, either increase horror by two or increase bloodlust by one. I just have to say, I think I'm going to increase bloodlust, even though I feel like that is stupid. <laughs> But I just worked so hard to get all of that. So you know what? Sometimes in life you just kind of YOLO it and we're putting bloodlust up and that's going to come to bite me in the ASS later. Uh, then choose one, panic all victims or panic yourself. Oh, heck yeah. I'm going to panic myself. Get me out of this space. Three. Ugh, whatever. I'll go there. It's not the space I want it to go to, but it will do. Then frostbite, which now we'll do it correctly. I'm gonna lose a heart because I already have a frostbite token. I guess I didn't need to give myself two. But I also give frostbites to these ones because they've been chilling outside for way longer than they should, a bunch of dummies. And then I can move the helicopter. So helicopter, is in the air. Bah, Alaskan Airlines. Perfect. If you play Final Girl right, you're probably playing it wrong. I have not agreed more with a sentence. I honestly like, I don't know. I will without fail do at least one thing wrong in every game because there's a lot going on. And you know what I say to that? Who cares? That's what I say. That's what I say about playing things wrong. Just do your best. All right, now we have to panic these butt heads. So we'll go with the top guy first. Not moving. This guy, not moving. This guy, not moving. They just are comfy where they are and I hate it because they're so spread apart. Ugh. Okay, back to me. And hopefully I am much faster this time, you know? If you're having fun, you're doing it right. Yes, yes, yes. That is something I believe in more than almost anything else. We're just playing board games, peeps. You know what I mean, jelly beans? All right, I am, I had a plan, right. I am actually going to use the fly, whoop, fly faster card. Sometimes it doesn't really care to focus. And you know what, I can't blame it. I have trouble focusing sometimes too. Whatever, fly faster. Okay, so we're using the middle dice. This essentially is gonna allow me to move the helicopter. If I move the helicopter one more space, I save these victims. And then I think the helicopter zips back to the door. Come on, big money, no whammies. These middle dice were the best decision that we've ever made. Okay, the best one. So I got one star. 
So helicopter is moving one space, which means we save victims. And you guys can't even see that, sorry. So it's moved one space and we have saved these victims. So Yuki's spaces, move one space, gain a heart, take furious strike, or increase by two time. Hmm. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna move one space, get a heart and take uh, increase time by two. And then I'll save the furious strike for, for later, for later. All right, so one heart back, two time up, move one space. So I'm gonna come right over here. And then I think the helicopter zips itself right back here. Perfect, 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 perfect. <laughs> writes down choose middle dice for next play yeah that's probably you know what from now on we're using the middle dice and we'll see how that goes for us um oops why did i put that there so i'm gonna zip over here if i can i do have a sprint card so let's see how fast i can run one star which means i do go beep up to spaces okay so here's what I'm gonna do. I do, where did I, oh right, everything's underneath the tray. So I am going to use my test kit to check it out and see if this person is a human or if it's something disgusting. Only time will tell, only time will tell. So I don't need to spend time for that. I don't need to spend an action. I just need to spend this test kit. Or if I were in the lab, I could do it there. So I'm gonna discard this card to test one of the exposed victims in your space to see if it has assimilated. Mm -hmm. So I think let's, this is my first time doing it. So let's um, do this. Performing a test. Okay. Discard test kit check and then draw a test results card. So I'm pulling them from up top, just FYI. <gasps> You've got to be kidding me. Make sure to mark your time spent sprinting. Thank you. Mm, down one. Um, so it's a monster, <laughs> it's a monster. So this gets shuffled back into the test results. Go freaking figure. There's literally only one monster card. I hate that. Um, let's zip out here. So now what I have to do is I have to reveal this to see which of the monsters is populating. And it's this gross boy. You, David. So now we find the matching card and this is the medium one. So there's like small, medium, large. This is the medium one. He has two heads in case anybody was curious. That's what, this is what I look like. So he's gonna go here, okay? And now I have to trigger everything up into this bloodlust. Oh, and he needs one of these. And he needs hearts. So let's do all of that first. So he's six hearts. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. So first thing he, oops, and I need to put out the token and it's the red one. Okay, so the red token is for this thingamabop. So he's going to move towards a victim. Hey. Uh, so that's fine, he's not attacking. Then we are increasing horror. Then he will kill the victim because sometimes you just gotta, I get it, I get it. Boom, boom. Um, so that increased bloodlust by one, which means horror is going to go up by one. I'm really, really happy that I had that distraction earlier. <laughs> Who 
Ooh, okay. That's fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. That frostbite's gone. Okay. So, super duper happy about that. There's no more test kits available because they all got discarded, so just FYI. Um, I do think... I think... <laughs> I think I'm going to try and... Hmm, I don't have an attack card, but I think I'm going to try and sprint back to the helicopter to try and just get a couple more victims out so that I can flip Yuki's card. So let's just try that. Can I get a yikes? Hi yikes. <laughs> oh, poo. Shoot. Darn it. Okay. So that sukes. I am basically, I am going to lose a heart. I am going to still move one space. Oh, hmm. Better not. <laughs> oh, crap. Better not because literally he's going to be coming after me. I think it's rude, but you know, that's his prerogative. So I won't move. Um, and I lose two time. I'll hang on to this. <laughs> we'll hang on to that card and we'll call it a, we'll call it a day on my turn. Poo poo. <laughs> um, I do, no, I was gonna use my radio, but I don't think that I want to spend, or do I? I don't know. If I wanna spend a time, cause that will give me three. It's either I have three or four. If I have four, I can buy a Furious Strike or a Retaliate. But if I have three, I can get a guard. And I'll at least move a victim away from him, but he's not moving. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use it yet. Okay. Ending. So I think I am going to get a guard card for two. Um, hold on. Let me catch up. Shouldn't he have targeted you? He has no movement. Um, it looks like the victim symbol on the card. Yes. I forget what the card was now. Yeah, so it was only Victim, and I'm pretty sure if it's just Victim, he doesn't target me. One with the Monster Hell shows both. Uh, likely the Monster card, but she was resolving the Bloodlust. Yeah, Bloodlust. So I was resolving the Bloodlust, which was Victim. Now, when I do the Terror action, he will target either me or the Victim. Um, okay, so I'm buying the Guard card for two. I'll take all of these ones back and I have two left. So I'm going to buy, I could get another guard card, God, cad, but I'm going to buy these two close calls because for safety reasons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need some more of my speed cards. Okay. That's good. That's everything for me. Over to him. So he is going to attack, but he's not because there's nobody in his space. Um, so we're going to pull a terror card. Yikes, he is going to attack. It's a classic hit and run. Um, if there is no, I, I almost read if there is no mustard organism. It says mutated. <sighs> If there is no mutated organism in play, but there is, um, horror, increase horror and discard one random card from your hand, but I don't have to do that. Um, so then he is going to move towards either me or the victim and attack. I think he would choose me. 
Is he choosing me? Be honest. Um, and he's gonna hit me for two. Ugh. Woof, David. That is brutal. Um, then he's going to target a victim and move twice. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. <laughs> Hide your hot dogs from those mustard organisms. Seriously. Seriously, though. Okay. Um, ooh, I have my dog. When an enemy enters your space, deal one damage to it. So he was in my space. So first of all, my dog bit you in your stupid ugly butt. Um, the next time you take damage, ignore it and discard this card. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, would I have done that? I think I would have done that just then because I took damage. Oh, my dog ran away. Sad face. Yes, you would have. Yes, you would have. Okay, cool. My coffee is super cold. Yuck. I should know better than to make a hot drink before I do this. Okay, um, so that's everything for them. But dog though, sad face. Bye, bye Char. I think there's, there is another dog somewhere within, I mean, actually, I don't know, it's in the items, but whether or not it's in those stacks. Um, back to me, let's do something. Let's do something crazy, shall we? Do I have any sprint cards? Ugh, of course not, of course not. Why would you? Let's, um, let's try and do a, a walkie. And hopefully we're gonna get two stars. I just told the dice that, so now they know. Now they know. Because if I can move into his space, I could attack him. And then I have another walk and I could just walk my victims right out of this place. That's not what I wanted. Um, hmm. I don't really want to get rid of any of these. <laughs> I guess I could use a close call. I could use a close, oops, that's supposed to go back up. I'm gonna use a close call. Should I reroll both of them? Yeah, whatever. Hey, yeah, best freeting from Bavaria and good luck. Oh, hello and welcome from Canada. Ah, oh, geez, what a waste. All right, we're discarding. Focus, focus, and focus. So discard it two focus cards to at least give us one star. What a reroll, eh? Brutal. Oh, crap. I should have bought a search card. I was literally in a search location, and that's the location that gives me the keys to the zippadoo, the whatever, the, the ski do. Not ski do, ski do, ski do. Okay, anyways, whatever. That was not so chill, but we're gonna try and walk again. Nice, we got one star. So we are going to move one space. And my time went down one. Hmm. So I have, huh. Hesitant. I'm hesitant to, um, I think I am gonna weak attack them. I could also short rest. I just don't wanna lose too much time, you see, because I would like to buy a sprint or a helicopter of some sort. Um, okay, this is fine, everything's fine. Um, let's. I think I'm gonna try and attack him. I just feel like that's the right thing to do. All right, so I got one star. Um, should I use my close call? Because if I don't, I lose a heart. I could still lose a heart. <laughs> I don't have many hearts left. I'm gonna use it just for this one. Well, 
One for one then. I hit him one, he hits me one. Yikes, spikes. Yikes, spikes. Um, so that didn't lose me any time. I'm just wondering, I think I might short rest. And if I lose some time, I lose some time. All right, so I get a heart back and I lose one time. So we're gonna stop there. Um, and I have two time to spend. Now I could technically get rid of this card, but it's a guard card. So we're not, we're not about to do that. Two time, I think, I think, I think I'm going to just take a sprint. Wow, that's gonna be a short turn. Yeesh. Hi beans, how you doing? You want a cookie? Juna's just laying on the bathroom floor in a pile of shredded dog toys. That's just how, that's just how it do be sometimes. Okay, so he is going to attack me. <laughs> I don't know why he's so obsessed with me. Um, and I will use my guard card. So he is attacking me for two, and if I am successful with either one or two hearts, I will ignore all of it. Poof, two hearts, boom, roasted, sucks to suck. I take no damage. That's nice. Okay, let's do a tarot card. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> So I got, he got some extra legs. Don't worry about it. Minor dark power. The mutated organism closest to you gets this power. If there is no mutated, there is. Um, the next time the mutated organism, okay, it gets this, okay, so no, it's going to this one. This mutated organism gains plus one to its movement value. And they also, now he has two extra hearts. All right, I'm off to dinner. Best of luck. Thank you, B. Watson. Have a fantastic dinner. All right. Boo, boo, boo. That was boo-rific. I was just like, where did the terror card go? It's, it's up there. It's the dark power. We're good. All right, so they, um, he's not gonna panic anymore, but the other two will. One, finally, you're out of that room. Geez, welcome. And six, look at that. They're finally going places. Okay, so it's back over to me. I, there's only three tarot cards left. Yikes, yikes, bikes, okay. Oh, I only have one card because I spent my guard card. So I guess we're sprinting. I am going to try to sprint the this person in here to get them out. So hopefully I'll be able to get Yuki's card flipped. Come on, big money, please. Yes, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go actually one, two. And I will take all three of these victims and you know what they just they got to go on the helicopter get out of here so these tokens are gone whoa okay so that loses me one time and that's my turn but you know what we're good with it and we're good with it because we have five time to spend Five time to spend. So we're definitely gonna buy this fly faster card. Um, so that's one. We need a sprint. So that's two. I wish there was another sprint. There's not. Um, so with the last two, I think I'll just get another guard card because you know, it came in handy last time. I showed it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Perfect. All right. That's my turn. Back over to them. 
so he's not moving all good so we're just gonna pull this terror card who can we trust in this game is it gonna focus literally nobody if there's no mutated organism but there is um, so instead he's just going to move towards me and he's gonna try and attack me but we all know this big dum-dum I got a freaking guard card you butt so let's whoopsies let's try and protect ourselves we did it why can't I roll like this all the time look at that two sixes two sixes all right so that's gone Oops, that's actually got to go in my played area. Okay, so that's that. Back to me. <laughs> There's only two tarot cards left. And I am going to, first of all, I am going to play Fly Faster. Fly, you fools. Hopefully we can get another double stars. Or how about no stars? I like them apples. Um, all right, that's fine. I will get rid of two focus cards, turn this into a star, which will move the helicopter one space. Ugh, not enough, not enough. Then I am going to run away so I'm going to sprint um, I just need to get inside for a couple reasons I need to get rid of my frostbite and I need to check these oh you guys can't see that I need to check out the people up top yeesh double yeesh triple yeesh I that sucks man but it's fine I am going to discard these two cards in order to move two. And I lose uh, time. Huh. Then I will try to walk, leisurely stroll. Oh, so annoying. Okay, I got nothing. Hmm. I think I will, this is risky, but I'm gonna lose a heart, move one space, lose two time. Um, I am not gonna do anything else. So I only have two time. Is he coming for me? He's only got one movement still. Yeah, so I think I'm safe. As in, I don't think I need a guard card, so I'm just gonna get a sprint. This is what often happens to me. I spend way too many cards, way, way too many cards in one turn, and then my next turn I only have two cards. Two, that's not enough. That's not enough, but it's fine. All right. So back to him, he's attacking nothing, dummy. And then we're getting a terror card. It could be anywhere or anyone. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jim. How's it going? I'm so happy that you finally signed on to watch, probably just to watch me die in this series, in this uh, episode of Freaky Friday. All right. If there are no exposed victims, there are. Discard this. All right, roll a die for each normal victim. If a one is rolled, it trades spaces with the farthest, oh. Interesting, okay. Roll a die for each normal victim. If a one is rolled, it trades spaces with the farthest exposed victim. You can lay a victim on its side to designate that it has been rolled for. Trade spaces with the farthest exposed victim. So right now we only have two exposed victims, gray and black. Um, I wonder if you could see that a little bit better. 
Okie dokie. So we're going to start with this one. <laughs> A one was rolled. That's actually literally, please don't let anybody else. Oh, actually, technically, technically, it would have traded with this one because it was further away. Okay, so that one's been rolled for. Let's do this one. That's a five, nothing happens. The next one, a four, so these ones are done. Oh my God, this is like, I love that. This one, two, my God, please don't roll a one. Two, perfect. And a four, perfect, okay. That was something that I enjoyed. <laughs> okay, so this is, he's gonna move, um, the killer's gonna move one and attack nothing. And I get to get rid of my frostbite because I am now nice and cozy toasty inside. Back to me. Okay, so I am going to, Well, I have a sprint and a walk. I am going to try and get to the gray victim to get him into the lab so I can just check it out just to see if he's human or if he's some sort of disgusting monster. My money's probably on monster with the way this has been going. So let's sprint. Oh, that sucks so freaking much because I only have one card so I can't even discard two. Uh, I have to lose a heart. I'm too time. I'm down to one heart but that means I get one more die. Silver lining. Silver lining playbook right there. Um, oh, I can move I am going to, oh, frig. <laughs> I can use my two-way radio to move one of those victims. Should I do that? I think I'm gonna. So I'm gonna use my two-way radio, which is gonna allow me to move this victim. I'm putting him in the hallway and I lose a time. Whoopsies. All right, we're walking. Thank God. Okay, I got one star, which means I only move one space. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. That's fine. So that was the last of my cards. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I only have two. And I'm thinking... Okay, I have a walk. I'm just wondering what makes the most sense. I could get a sprint card, which will, you know, give me a better chance. I think I should do that and I'll get a fly faster next. I think that's what we need to do. Okay. 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 Let's, yeah, that's fine. So killer's gonna go, he's attacking nothing last terror card we can't stay here no kidding no kidding kidding um if there are no victims in play there are panic all victims that are indoors then panic all victims that are in a hallway okie dokie so all victims i really hope that that moves these ones I hope they zip into the lab. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? All right, let's start with the gray. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is nice. All right, we'll do the black one. Three. Oh my God. Oh yeah, you guys can't even see that. My bad. So they both panicked into the lab. Um, then we'll do this this room. We'll go in the hallway. We'll go there. 
six. So they'll go, geez, this hallway is getting crowded. And a two, so that one's not gonna move. Then panic all victims in the hallway. So now everyone that moved into the hallway also has to panic again. I will assume they're gonna go in there. Man, these people, they are just being the most chaotic. Six, we'll go in here. One more. Wow, that room is bumping. Okay, so then the killer is going to target victim. They'll move two right row and attack, but there's nobody in their space to attack. Um, frostbite, but nobody's outside, and the helicopter moves one, and that is awesome because helicopter has moved one. It is outside. We are saving three victims. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to add the last one to Yuki. So I get a furious strike card. Whoa, geez. And then I throw it into the air just for fun. All right. So then we've saved all of you butts. We are flipping Yuki. Once per turn, you may play a copy of the guard card as though it was in your hand. This is a fantastic card. Jeez Louise, Jeff, you coming in from outside as if there's no murderers on the loose. <laughs> Jeff just came in. Now I hear the Canadian coming through. Got to ride the Guardians of the Galaxy. Cosmic Rewind this morning at Epcot. Jim, I need to know what that's like because I'm afraid to ride because I think it's going to make me really motion sick. You tell me. It probably will. I already know that it will because it spins. What's up? I just was checking to see if you needed anything. Well, first of all, my coffee got freezing cold and I hate that. Okay. That's, that is it. I'm definitely going to die. Do you want anything? Do you need anything? No, I'll probably be dead soon. Okay. Jim's here though. Come say hi to Jim. Jim Cletus? Yes. Come closer. Hi, Jim. Jim, Jeff's here. He went uh, on the Guardians Jim, of the Galaxy we're Cosmic gonna, Rewind. We're going to try and have coffee with Jim. <gasps> oh my god, Jim, I'm so excited. That's literally going to be the best. To Disney. We have coffee at Disney. Oh my god. I love that journey. It might it is a dark ride that moves around and is fast. Hi Jeff. I think that it spins a little bit and that just makes me go bleh. The ropes. So, yeah. Anyways. Okay. Have fun. I shall. Um, so Yuki, once per turn, I can play a copy of the guard card as though it was in my hand. For each additional victim saved, I um, decrease horror. So I did save two extra victims. So that's going to pop up. I am excited as well. It does spin some. Yeah, so Jeff doesn't do good with spinning. I don't do good with fast rides or spinning rides or 3D rides. I am a weak, weak soul, a weak stomach, unfortunately. Um, it actually usually isn't so bad, but when we went to Disneyland, even Big Thunder Mountain got me, which is something I can usually ride like over and over and over again. I, okay, so here's what I usually do ride. Pause from the game. I usually ride almost everything. I will go on almost everything at Disney World. Like I can do rock and roller coaster once. I can do Space Mountain once, but Space Mountain, depending on which track I go on, makes me feel sick. I can do Everest once. So any of those rides I will do, but I'll usually only do them one time. So, but usually I'll do Big Thunder over and over again. I usually do like Seven Dwarves Mine Train. Tower of Terror is my favorite. It does not bother my stomach at all. Um, Haunted Mansion, obviously all the slow rides I do. Splash Mountain, I do, and I'm fine. So really, it's just, I don't know what it is, honestly, but Space Ma of all the rides at Disney World, Space Mountain's the one that gets me. Even more so, like, if I do Rock and Roller Coaster once, I'm usually fine, I just can't do it again, if that makes sense. Okay, so I forget where I was. Right. They escaped because of this. So now I just have to panic these two, which is brutal. Please just stay in the lab. Five. Go figure back in the hallway. That's fine. And six. Ugh. 
I had them in the perfect freaking spot and now they are no longer in the perfect freaking spot. Um, I have difficulty with going in circles and so I have slight dizzy feel when I get off, but it clears up quickly. Yeah, for me, it doesn't clear up so quickly. It lingers. Like, I don't know what it was about Disneyland's version of Big Thunder Mountain. That messed me up for hours. Hours, hours, hours. Okay, so back to me. We're gonna go back down. Oops, that's up. We want to go down. Okay, I need to get these two into the lab. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, let's... I really wish that they were in the same spot. But let's do a sprint. And it's, I get three dice because I'm down to one heart. I should probably short rest. Yeah, I'll do it after. Oops. Good lord. So annoy. Um, I will discard my two focus cards in order to turn this four into a star, which means I can move up to two spaces. So let's just go one, two. Now I'm in the lab. Oh, and you can't see. I love when I go places you can't see. I'm in the lab here with this gray guy, which means that I can test to see if he has been infected. And that's what we're gonna do. So we pull a test result. <sighs> Safe, thank God. Replace the exposed victim with a normal victim. Okay, don't mind if I do. Um, and remove this card from the game. So that means in here, there is one more safe and there is still the assimilated, which means the next guy could also be a monster or he could be safe. We don't know. We don't know. Space Mountain did me in the last time. Getting older is not so much fun anymore. Yeah, so usually I load up on Gravol, which I don't know if you're American, it's like Dramamine or Bomine or whatever that's called, but in Canada it's Gravol. And I found this really amazing gravel that worked so well. It And I have a, an electric bracelet thing that sends like electric pulses so that it, it's for motion sickness. They did not protect me <laughs> against Big Thunder in California. I don't know what it was. It could have just been the day because I went on it the day before and I didn't feel sick. But anyways. Anyways. Okay. So now... I I need to uh, check this guy. So we are going to, oops, I didn't move my time down. We're gonna walk and I gotta try, if I could get two spaces, that would be super duper ideal because then I could zip him right into the lab. <sighs> oh, hum. If I do this, <laughs> I could technically get him in and check him. However, I um, I don't want to lose any of these cards. So I'm not going to. I'll just move out one and lose one time. And then I think, I think what I need to do is probably I should short. Oh my gosh, you guys aren't even looking at the right spot. Sometimes I'm too quick and I skip around. I am going to short rest to try and get some of my health back. So let's do that. Okay, so I get, whoa, I throw one heart. So I get one heart and I lose one time. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. Um, I will keep these right there, nice and safe. And I'm gonna stop my turn and I will use those three things. Helicopter goes back. I will use those three things to buy some stuff and some things. Hmm. But the question being, I just need to be able to move him in here. So I need to buy a sprint just to be safe. 
That's two. Then I think I will just get a close call for my three. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Old makes it harder to ride the rides, but I try to push through. Heading to Magic Kingdom on Saturday, only ride I have to avoid is teacups. Oof, yeah, teacups, Blech. no thanks. Um, I think like for us, for Jeff anyways, Disney, he can do pretty much anything. And Universal, he could do all the roller coasters, but like the 3D rides, I don't even know what it is. Cause at Universal, like I can do the mummy, no problem. No freaking problem. Um, okay, that's my turn. I don't know about this, you guys. I don't think that I'm gonna be surviving much longer. And here's why, because we are out of tarot, tarot cards. <laughs> which means, whoops. Which means we are flipping, we are flipping this. And this is probably cognitive assimilation, yikes. When this card is revealed, any remaining exposed victims are immediately assimilated. That means this guy is turning into a monster. Oh no, and it's the big one. Why? Fudge. Okay. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Oh, that really sucks. That really sucks. Okay, so he, bop, bop. Uh, so he's got seven hearts, three, four, five, six. God, that sucks. Okay, if there is only one mutated organism in play, you must discard two action cards at the beginning of the killer phase. If you cannot, you have been assimilated and lose the game. <laughs> All right. So basically what this is saying is that um, if I kill one of the bad guys and then at the beginning of the killer phase, if there's, that means there'd only be one left because there's two of them, I have to discard two of my action cards and if I can't do that, I automatically die. Super dead. Now, I also, since he's just populated, need to trigger all of the bloodlust um, on his track. So. He is going to move towards a victim. So he'll go here. He will move towards a victim. Uh, so he'll go here. Uh, <laughs> an event card will pop up. Hidden weapons cash. There's a lot of writing. I heard a rumor about a trove of buried weapons. Ooh, that, that. Shuffle the armory tokens and place one face down in each of the four outdoor spaces, excluding the exit space. Okay. Armory, armory. Mm. Armory, armory. So what did, where did I put the card? Oh. <laughs> Bye, B-Fan, thanks for stopping in. Um, okay, shuffle them and place one face down in each outdoor space, not the exit space. Uh, okay, if you move into one of the spaces, reveal the token. If the token is an X, discard it, no effect. The token is a gun, this is the armory, this space may now be searched. Take all weapons card from the unused items, shuffle, ooh. So basically, if I come into one of these four outdoor spaces, I get to reveal the token. If it's the gun, I get to search the item piles for weapons. Um, and I think I get to take them. All right, that's fine. I also need to remember what this says. <laughs> oh, right, he's got plus one movement. He hasn't needed it yet. All right, I need to remember that. That's for the red one, gets an additional movement. Okay. So now, now this is a lot. Uh, we are going to go through their killer phase. And let me just move to the upper zoom. But basically, now that we have revealed the finale card, 
the killer is going to um does that mean that i lose a heart or they lose a heart wouldn't it be fun if it was them i think it's probably me all right so i lose a heart oh my god okay then the finale so i have to go through them one by one uh he will target either me or a victim but i'm in his space uh, and then he will attack and he is attacking me for two. Oh, and this has to move up one um okay i have one heart left but i do with yuki get a free guard action so i will be rolling as if I have a guard to try and ignore. And I did not do it. So I guess, oh, I do have a close call. Can I? Yeah, it's as if you have a guard card, so I must be able to do a close call. So let's close call that. Oh, even worse. <laughs> okay, so he has hit me for two. So we're checking the tokens. Can you see it? If this is, I should have rolled an extra die. It would not have mattered. Um, if this is nothing, I am dead. If it is hearts, I live to see another day. One heart. I get one heart back. Oh, so that means it's just this. So I just get this, okay? Yikes, bikes. I haven't even gotten to the next guy. Uh, so he, the red guy is going to um, attack the closest either me or victim. So it is this victim. Bloodlust goes up um, and I'm dead <laughs> because I lose a heart and I have died. I was not even close. Look at how many hearts they have. What if I had three of these things out? I need a better strategy. Well, people, I have been consumed by the mutant organism, which basically means now I am a mutant organism and I am super dead, super, super dead. But I do have to say, so this is my first time playing any of the season two sets it literally just arrived um like two was it yesterday i think it just arrived yesterday um so this set is super fun it is different i like how in order to get the victims to escape you got to get them to a helicopter and then they escape you got a dog and stuff so overall i lost sure you know it is what it is and all that stuff but um but yeah i died but it was fun i like it i like it did it take you long to learn to play i like just if you mean the final girl as a whole it took me as long as it took me to watch rodney's video twice read the rule book and then watch paula play <laughs> That's how long it took me to learn. Um, but this set didn't, I wouldn't say that this is the most complicated set to learn of all of them. It definitely has a bit more advanced rules. So this one actually comes with like, these are all of the additional rules. So it did take a little bit longer than one of some of like the more basic sets. But yeah, I would say like, the thing with Final Girl is it is not, it's not a difficult game. There's just a lot. There's just a lot going on all the time. So you really need to um, pay attention, which can be difficult because you will make mistakes. And that is completely a-okay. I want to see if that other dog was in here so I could show it to you. Read the following. Don't pout about a croat drought. Just sprout a snout and shout out about dote. Are you trying to get me to sound more Canadian? 
because I can make it sound more Canadian. Don't pote a boat, a croat, droat. Just sprout a snoat and shout oat, a boat, dote. Boom. Canadian. Roasted. Um, oh, no, the doggy wasn't in here. So, yeah, there is another dog, but he wasn't in here. <sighs> Good golly. Well, I appreciate everybody that came out on this lovely Friday. Um, next... Hello, the Ice Blaze Pro. Exactly. I am a pro at reading in Canadian. That is for sure. Um, <laughs> thank you for the cheer, Chatticus. Was it because I crushed the Canadian accent? I think, like, <clears throat> in this game, and Jim, I wonder if this is what you meant earlier when you said I could hear the Canadian come out. Guard card is probably the most Canadian card name that I could think of. Guard card. <laughs> I I don't even know how you say it different. Gord cord. Gord cord. <laughs> I can't do it. Guard card. Anyways, um, next Friday, I, I don't think I have anything going on, so I should be streaming. I think I am going to do the Big Bad Wolf um, because that's the one I'm the most excited for. So I think that's what I will do. And then after that, I will let you all choose which one you would like me to play. Um, but I might even, I don't know, I might try some of the sets this weekend. Jeff is gone to a game day tomorrow. So I've got all day. So I may as well play some Final Girl, you know. I may as well. I should probably try and play something different for once. But sometimes you just got to... You know play the games you love and stuff um yeah so tomorrow's video for anybody that is curious is going to be me once again reorganizing our game shelves because what a mess that whole room was in um so that's tomorrow's video i don't think unless something changes i don't think we're streaming on sunday because my brother's coming over to play oathsworn and uh, he doesn't get a lot of opportunity to do that. So if he's able to come over and play, then that is exactly what we are doing. Um, so there's that. But yeah, so I think after this, it'll most... Actually, I don't know. Maybe I'll just randomly stream a solo, some solo button shies tomorrow. I guess I could do that while Jeff is gone. Um... That is definitely a possibility. Um, I don't know if people are interested in that, but at least I'd get to play some button shy games. So I'm interested in it. I just gotta make sure I put all of this stuff in the right containers. Yes, yes, yes. Test results, yes, this, yes. Cool, so, um, yeah, like I said before, Tomorrow's video is going to be fun. Feel free to tune in for that. But thank you guys for hanging out. Maybe we'll see if anybody is online who we can raid. I don't know if how many people stream on Friday nights. It's as if, like, what are people doing with their Fridays? I'm staying in. I'll tell you that much. That's what I know. All right. Let us see. If anybody is online to raid. Okay, so let's raid the Panic Games. We've never raided them before. And I think that that's what we'll do. So everybody have a fantastic weekend. I hope it's nice, sunny, and warm. Enjoy Disney World to all of you lucky people that live there. And I'll see you again soon. Bye!